Hello guys, I'm Debbie and in politics today, federal government will be in war of words over food aid from Ukraine. This donation from Ukraine aims to save Nigeria from hunger caused by economic mismanagement, according to Obi, says it is sad Nigeria is receiving aid from a country it has potentials to be better than. Federal government fights back, saying accepting grains from Ukraine does not make Nigeria a failed country. There have been serious war of words as a result of a donation of grains to Nigeria by Ukraine, and it has refused to die down. The Matrix News report that a few days ago, 25,000 tons of wheat was donated to the nation to boost the United Nations food program, WFP. And many, including the Labour Party presidential candidate in the last year's general election, Peter Obi, described the gesture from a war-ravaged country as national disgrace for Nigeria. However, the Minister of Information and National Orientation, Mohamed Idris, in a pushback on Thursday, he fired back at Peter Obi saying that Nigerian accepting grain from Ukraine does not make the country a weak or failed state. Idris further said that Egypt gets about 60% of grains from Ukraine. And the fact that Egypt gets that 60% of its grain from Ukraine does not make Egypt a failed state. And the fact that we Nigerians are facing the challenges at the moment does not make Nigeria a failed state. Therefore, he went further to emphasize the fact that accepting grains from Ukraine does not make Nigeria or even Egypt a failed country. It is a normal thing because countries exist to depend on each other. One country cannot stand on its own forever. And the minister said at the Leadership Annual Conference and Award 2023 on Tuesday in Abuja, according to the minister, he said it is true that Nigeria is facing some challenges and the president, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, is working and aware of this and he does not shy away from it. Nigerians voted for Tinubu with the deeper understanding and conviction that he has the capacity to turn things around for the better and that is what he's doing. And also some of the decisions he has taken were to ensure that Nigeria finds its place in the Committee of Nations. Mr. Idris, the minister, went furthermore to explain that the decisions include removal of forest subsidy and addressing the issue of foreign exchange and many others. In spite of the current challenges, the economic growth of Nigeria is on track and has continued to improve. He explained that the forest subsidy removal was a bold step in the right decision and he urged Nigerians to support the president as the country would soon begin to reap the benefits. And the minister also made it clear that this current situation of the country, the current national challenges, it did not just begin upon the assumption of the office by President Tinubu. We stressed that going by figures released by the National Bureau of Statistics, Nigeria's foreign importation has reduced by 50% after foreign subsidy removal, just as economy improved significantly. And the Idris also noted that President Tinubu has demonstrated capacity and upon his assumption of office, he has attracted more than $30 billion in foreign investment into the country. He has not stopped at that. Just last week, he said that the President Tinubu went to Qatar to attract more business and investment into Nigeria. In his words, we are optimistic that soon what we are passing through will soon be nothing but a thing of the past and Nigeria will be better. Regardless of the fact that the president and the minister is trying to like make the general public and even Peter Obi himself see reasons as to why they accepted donation from Ukraine, Peter Obi still feels that accepting green assistance and donation from a war-torn Ukraine is embarrassing. He stated that even if the offer was aimed at helping the current situation of food crisis in the country, that it is awkward considering the fact that here in Nigeria, we have a more fertile land to work with and the working population, we are now receiving aid from a country like Ukraine. And he said even in the North Safe that if they put their lands into productive use, that we will not just have sufficient food for local consumption, but even surplus for exports. 
For more politics news story, visit matrixngr.com. Don't forget to share this politics news story with your friends and family. Subscribe and like. Thank you.